the corruption you know they have grabbed from us almost up to 40 billion dollars of our money from the very poorest people of the Malaysia to put into public into the government revenue but at the same time how much are we bleeding how many billions and billions of dollars are we bleeding and there is no clearer example of this bleeding than in the 1MDB story the one mdb story is the is the mother of all corruption scandals there's no question about it they took public money they set up a company in 2009 prime minister najib said we will invest money for the public we will make profits and we will benefit the public that's what he told us in 2009 and we cautioned them in parliament you have to be transparent, you have to be accountable. What did they do? A one million dollar paid up company is then used to borrow 40 billion, 42 billion dollars. Can you imagine? When you go to the bank, can you get loans easily? No. You want to borrow 10,000 dollars, the bank asks you 10,000 questions first before they give you the money. But this company got 42 billion dollars just given to it to go and spend so today when we look at the 42 we say what have you got to show for this 42 billion tell me you know what they got they got a few pieces of land very expensive land but sold very cheap to them in KL they bought some land in Penang overpriced and they bought a whole lot of IPPs which we are now selling to China you add up the market value, not market value, sorry. We add up the price of what they paid for all these items. It doesn't cross $20 billion. It cannot cross $20 billion. Even $20 billion is a generous estimate. So my big question to Prime Minister Najib, and this is a question the whole country is asking, the whole world is asking, sir, what did you do with the rest of the 22 billion dollars which we malaysians we our children and our children's children will have to pay back to the banks there's no way we are going to run from that debt that debt today is hitting 50 billion dollars with interest we are have we have to pay this is what najib has done and you know, you know what is the answer to that question? Of course, they won't admit it. What have they done with this $22 billion? You know where the answer lies? The answer lies in Joe Lowe's $40 US million yacht. It lies in the $40 million apartment that Riza Aziz, that is Rosma's son, is able to walk into New York and buy with cash. He flies then to Beverly Hills, pays 30 million US dollars for a house and buys with cash. He can fund Hollywood movies spending hundreds of millions of US dollars. A man who is 35 years old with no business track record. Where is the money coming from? You know, if you go and read the US papers whenever they talk about the Hollywood investments, they describe it as family wealth. Family wealth. Which family is Riza Aziz belonging to? His father, Rosma's first husband. He's not a rich man. Everybody knows it. Mr. Aziz, he's, was, when he was married to Rosma, and after they separated, he's not a rich man. So where is the family wealth? Ah. We know the answer. That's where the pink diamonds are coming from. That's where the Birkin bags are coming from. That's where the family, the wedding, you know, is paid for. 
money they borrowed using 1MDB. And today, the investors who used to come to Malaysia, who like our investment climate, our people, our talents who are prepared to come today, those people are saying, hold on. You know why? Because I'm not sure whether Malaysia can even pay this debt. I'm not sure about the ringgit. They see they have no more confidence in our economy. And that is what Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak has done to us. You know, I go back to where is the 22 billion? We all know, he admitted it, 2.6 billion ringgit, 681 US do billion dollars, million US dollars arrived in his personal bank account. What was his story? We all know the story. We all laugh, it's a joke. Some mysterious Arab rich man gave him the money. And he gave it back after spending a part of it. I mean, you want to tell fairy tales? Tell fairy tales we can believe, you know. Don't tell stupid fairy tales, you know. But, you know, what is interesting, ladies and gentlemen, just a few days ago, a gentleman called Mr. Ken Brown, who is the finance editor of the Wall Street Journal. Now, the Wall Street Journal is probably the most reputable finance newspaper in the whole world. Credible, you know, strong, very strong reputation. You know what he said in an interview to, with ABC, Australian Broadcasting Corporation, he said that 2.6 billion ringgit did not come from an Arab. It came from companies related to 1MDB. He made a categorical statement in an open interview with a television station. He said it factual straight. And what is Mr. Prime Minister Najib Stone's res uh, Najib's response so far? Silence. You are basically being called a liar. Mr. Ken Brown of the Wall Street Journal is calling our Prime Minister Najib Tun Razak, you are a bullshitter of the highest order. Of course, sorry, he doesn't use those words. In, in a polite way, he says, that 2.6 billion did not come from the Middle East. It came from companies associated with 1MDB. He says it direct. Polite, but direct. Factual. What are you saying? You can't say anything in reply. And he says, I've got the evidence to prove it. I have the evidence to show it to that extent. But what does our Attorney General say? Prime Minister Najib Rund Razak has not committed any criminal wrongs. I think it's time we sack this Attorney General. Don't you agree? Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't sack him now. We can't. But we have to one day. So ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a, quite a difficult next two, three years. Let us be realistic. We have to watch our expenditure, take care of our families, and, but most important, we have to make sure the people of Malaysia must understand this Amno BN government cannot stay in power anymore. If they stay in power longer, they are going to rob everything that we have and they are going to destroy a beautiful country of the greatest potential in this world. Truly. And that's why I ask you today, this is our responsibility. We have to be patient, we have to wait, we have to work hard, but God willing, we will make sure the next GE, which will happen by 2018, this government must go. Can we do that? Let us spread this message. Sri Damansara is very clear. Bukit Lanjan is very clear. Elizabeth won, won with the biggest majority probably in Slango. The people of Slango are quite clear. But we must take this message out to the whole of Malaysia. That is the challenge for all of us. Let us work hard. Let us do this together. Let us kick out this Amno BN government at the next GE and let us make Malaysia the greatest country to live in in the world. Thank you very much. Sia Sia, Kongsi Fa Chai, Sinian Kwaila.
All the very best to all of you.